How's it folks? Welcome back to Sustaina Hawaii. Today we'll be making LAB or lactic acid bacteria. So first off, you want to collect some rice wash. Here in Hawaii, we like to uh, eat a lot of rice, so it's pretty easy for us to collect rice wash. You can uh, probably get this every day. But uh, just for this video, I'm trying to show you guys um, how I collect rice wash basically just put a cup and a half maybe two cups of rice doesn't matter what type of rice um, throw in two cups of water let it sit and then strain it out like so our next step um, we're gonna get a mason jar clean mason jar and we're gonna put the rice wash in the mason jar and later I'm gonna seal this and let this ferment for about three to five days. Next step, you're gonna secure a breathable lid. Right now, I'm just using a paper towel and a rubber band, but uh, whatever you can use to keep the bugs out. And then we're gonna store this in a dark location. So before I store this in a dark location, I smelt the rice wash and it smells just like rice wash, regular rice wash. But um, you want to smell it every day, being careful not to disturb the mixture and you just want to wait till the rice wash kind of changes smell. So uh, this was after three days and the smell was similar to sake. So our next step is we're going to take the fermented rice wash and we're going to mix one part fermented rice wash to 10 parts milk. So what is LAB? LAB is lactic acid bacteria. They are microorganisms used in the production of yogurt, cheese, kimchi, and a lot of other uh, fermented products. They are also beneficial to plants and livestock. For plants, LAB helps plant absorption of nutrients, can be used as a soil drench, protects against fungal diseases, helps break down organic matter into nutrient-rich soil. Uh, for livestock, they can be fed to livestock to help restore their probiotic bacteria found in their gut and to help with their digestion. Uh, for their pens, it can be sprayed in the livestock pens to remove fecal odors. LAB is used at 1 to 1,000 parts dilution. So for every gallon of water, you want to mix 4 milliliters of the LAB solution once the LAB solution is ready. So here I am again, just adding uh, 10 parts of milk to one part rice wash that has been fermented for two to three days. So after you've mixed 10 parts of milk to one part of your rice wash, you wanna secure the container with a paper towel and a rubber band. And now back it goes into a dark place for three to five days. Once two to five days have passed, this is how your LAB should sort of look like. As you can see, there's a clear separation, uh, some solids floating on the top, and a sort of yellow liquid on the bottom. So now we're gonna strain this guy, and uh, we can use the cheese, I guess, to kind of eat, uh, making to whatever sort of cheese that you wanna make. But uh, I'm not too sure if this is a little past the due date, but I'm just gonna feed it to my chicken. So the next step is to get a strainer. Uh, any type of strainer will work. Some people use paint strainers. Uh, I have this strainer, so this is all I have. So just make uh, make do with what you have. 
So basically I'm just separating the solids from the liquid. Um, once you've done that, voila, you're finished. You successfully uh, collected LAB or lactic acid bacteria. Congratulations! So just one more thing before I end this video. Uh, for storage, you're going to want to mix equal parts of brown sugar to the solution. Uh, the brown sugar will help preserve the LAB from uh, fermenting even more and that way you have LAB to use on your plants for the entire year. That's the ending of my video. Thank you very much guys for watching again. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any thoughts or comments about uh, KNF or Hawaiian Natural Farming, please leave a comment below.